Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are diving into the fascinating world of nature's intricacies. Ever heard of fungi that control the insects they eat? Well, buckle up, because we've got a captivating journey ahead. I'm your host, your guide through this incredible phenomenon. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell, so you never miss our exciting explorations. Now, let's get started. First of all let's talk about the intriguing world of entomopathogenic fungi. Embarking on a fascinating journey into the natural world, we delve into the realm of entomopathogenic fungi a distinctive group of organisms that have honed the art of insect control to perfection. These fungi, with their specialized adaptations, have evolved to parasitize insects, transforming them into unwitting hosts in a complex and intricate dance of nature. The entomopathogenic fungi's mastery lies in their ability to exploit insects for their own survival. Through a series of evolutionary adaptations, these fungi have developed mechanisms to infiltrate, infect, and ultimately manipulate the behavior of their insect hosts. This intricate relationship unfolds like a captivating dance, where the fungi orchestrate a delicate and precise sequence of events to ensure their continued existence. As we unravel the mysteries of this symbiotic interaction, we discover the ingenious strategies employed by entomopathogenic fungi. From stealthy spore landings to the silent chemical warfare waged within the insect's body and mind, this journey opens a window into the captivating and often macabre world where fungi and insects engage in a relentless dance for survival. Moving to the next one is the stealthy attack. In a silent and microscopic drama, fungal spores embark on a stealthy attack, infiltrating unsuspecting insects with remarkable precision. Picture a minuscule spore drifting through the air, eventually landing on its unwitting host. The fungi demonstrate mastery in covert entry, seamlessly invading the insect without detection. Once inside, the fungi initiate a silent yet potent chemical warfare, launching a clandestine takeover of the insect's mind and body. These microscopic invaders act as puppeteers, manipulating the host's behavior with precision. Through a sophisticated interplay of biochemical signals, the fungi assume control, steering the insect toward a predetermined course of action. This insidious influence extends beyond mere manipulation, as the fungi strategically orchestrate a silent coup within the host's physiological and neurological systems. This stealthy takeover reflects the fungi's evolutionary prowess, showcasing their ability to adapt and exploit host organisms for their own survival. The silent but deadly nature of this microscopic warfare underscores the intricacies of nature's strategies, where even the smallest entities can wield profound influence in their quest for existence. Do you know about manipulating behavior for survival? Let me explain it. Certain fungi employ a fascinating survival strategy by manipulating the behavior of their insect hosts through the release of mind-altering chemicals. These fungi release compounds that have a profound impact on the behavior of the infected insects. The chemicals effectively coerce the insects into a specific action, climbing to an elevated position. This behavior is not random, it serves a strategic purpose for the fungi's survival. The elevated position provides an advantageous vantage point for the fungi spores to disperse effectively. By compelling the infected insects to climb, the fungi increase the likelihood of their spores spreading over a wider area, enhancing the chances of encountering and infecting new hosts. This manipulation of the insect's behavior showcases the intricate and adaptive mechanisms that fungi have evolved for their survival. In this symbiotic dance between fungi and insects, the fungi orchestrate a macabre yet ingenious strategy to ensure their continued existence by exploiting the natural instincts of their hosts. And now let's think about the gruesome end. The gruesome end referred to in this scenario involves a parasitic relationship between a fungus and an insect. Once the fungus infects the insect, it takes over the host's body, manipulating its behavior. As the fungus gains control, the insect's destiny is inexorably sealed. The fungi begin to devour the insect internally, breaking down its tissues for sustenance. This macabre process eventually leads to the demise of the insect as it succumbs to the insidious invasion. While the description may evoke horror, it's a natural mechanism that serves a crucial ecological purpose. This parasitic relationship acts as nature's form of pest control, regulating insect populations in ecosystems. 
By eliminating certain insect species, the fungus helps maintain the delicate balance of nature, preventing unchecked population growth that could disrupt the harmony of the ecosystem. Despite its grisly nature, this phenomenon highlights the intricate and sometimes brutal strategies that exist within the natural world to sustain the equilibrium of diverse ecosystems. Last but not least let's talk about applications and implications. The applications of these fungi extend beyond the natural world, presenting intriguing possibilities in agriculture and biopesticides. In agriculture, these fungi can be harnessed as natural agents for pest control. By targeting specific insect pests, they offer an eco-friendly alternative to synthetic pesticides, potentially reducing environmental impact and promoting sustainable farming practices. The development of these fungi as biopesticides aligns with a growing emphasis on organic and environmentally friendly agriculture. Farmers can integrate these natural control agents into their pest management strategies, fostering a more balanced and sustainable approach to crop protection. However, the use of these fungi in agriculture also raises ethical considerations. The intentional deployment of organisms that cause a host organism's demise prompts discussions about the morality of such interventions. Striking a balance between harnessing nature for human benefit and respecting the intrinsic value of all life is a complex challenge. This intersection of science and morality underscores the need for thoughtful consideration in the application of these natural control mechanisms. It prompts us to reflect on the ethical implications of manipulating ecosystems for human purposes, emphasizing the importance of responsible and sustainable practices as we navigate the intricate relationship between science and morality. And there you have it, the captivating world of fungi that control the insects they eat. Nature's intricacies never fail to amaze. If you enjoyed this journey, give us a thumbs up, share with your friends, and comment below with your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe for more riveting explorations into the wonders of our planet. Until next time, I'm your host, signing off. Stay curious.